Hey guys, it's a beautiful day at Rhythmia. It's Jerry, I'm coming live to you today from Rhythmia in Guanacaste. Uh, it's a beautiful, warm day. We have uh, very interesting guests this week. We have, uh, our guest speaker is, is Graham Hancock and uh, the place is, is just amazing. We're jammed up. Uh, it's, it's really going. Hi Lorena, how you doing? Uh, how's everybody today? I, I have another uh, interesting thing. I spent the week and we were going to get into to spiritual things, but but we have more questions about about creation and creating the life that you want and manifesting. Um, it seems like it's the number one topic. Like of all the things, hi Lorena, of all the things that people want to talk about, the thing they want to talk about the most is these these situations that they're having with their life that they perceive uh, are keeping them from the things that they want. So, so, so what are those things that are keep, hey Tim, what are the things that are keeping you from the things that you want? And, and almost 100% of it is in your mind. And so, so what gives me the right to talk about this? Well, what gives me the right to talk about this is that I'm an extremely financially lucky person. That, that I became a millionaire in my 20s. I became uh, a multi, 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 multi millionaire in my 30s and again in my 40s. Uh, hey Meg, hi Holly, hi Juan. Um, we're, and, and so that's what gives me the right to talk about it. And, and I've been really lucky at it and so lucky that, that in, in the medicine, this, this plant medicine has helped me out greatly and figuring out how can I relay this to other people and, and how can people have success in their life and still maintain uh, a spiritual path of some description. And, and last week I said something and somebody flipped out. They said, uh, they said hey Kim, they said, uh, you know, it's bullshit, this isn't true. But the truth is, is that, hi honey, that, thank you sweetie, Here's can you open that door for me a little more? Thanks. So we get some light in here. That all all businesses are spiritual business. So 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 what does that mean? That all spiritual all business is spiritual business. Well, last week a guy said that's bullshit, and I have to tell you why it's not. Uh, the reason that it's not is because if you believe that every person has a spirit and a soul, then then all businesses, whether you're a car dealer whether you're a restaurant, whether there, it's impossible to not be in a spiritual business. And where people make a mistake is they try to, to, to use a different set of rules with, with a spiritual business than with a non-spiritual business. And then it gets all confusing. So that's like me saying, I'm gonna drop two rocks and on one I want the, the law of gravity to apply and the other one I don't. Well, it doesn't matter what I want because the law of gravity is there for both rocks. So, so please don't waste your time. And, and, and here's the thing that I keep going back to in my beloved spiritual conscious community, that we keep having the same problems with the same things. Uh -huh. And why does it plague this community so much? And the reason is, is it's because in here. And one of the things that happens in here is spiritual bypassing and it's what I wanted to talk about this week and so somebody asked how I made money I made money in a, in a bunch of different businesses and uh, and uh, I guess the last business that I made a lot of money in was a plastic surgery business that I had uh, about 135 surgery centers in the United States 35 states uh, but I but I but I do have uh, this little company now that cost a lot of money to start but eventually we'll make money because it's 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 a good solid company. Uh, but I want to talk about this thing. So what do the spiritual people do? Well, the the first thing is they have some false beliefs, and the false belief is that 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 and it's embedded in here that that having a sufficient amount of money and somehow is not good for them, and that's a real first starter core belief that they think I want money but it's the root of all evil. I want money, but it's this. And the thing is, if you have, so, so in business, in life, in relationship, the idea is to get all of our energy going in the same direction. If we have split energy that goes like this, it's called contra energy 
and it, it screws with every single thing we're trying to do. Yeah? It screws with every single thing we're trying to do. And, and, and Rob, you're, you're a wonderful cat, but a true spiritual leader does make money off healing. It's, it's, part, of, it's part of the whole thing. Um, but I understand and respect your opinion. It's just that, that it's in the world, it's a very different thing. It's a very, very different thing. Unfortunately, spiritual people have to eat and do things like that. So that's part of what they do. They gotta do it. Uh, so, so anyway, when you have this thing, that kind of thought, that, that makes you disconnect from it. You think you can't be a good person and make money and nothing could be further from the truth because you can be, uh, as a matter of fact, the energy doesn't care if you're a good person or a bad person. The same laws apply to making money irrespective of, of if, you're, uh, if you're a Donald Trump or, or if you're uh, Elon Musk or if you're Steve Jobs or wh whoever you are, the same principles always apply. And to use those principles in, in, for yourself is what this is all about. And the first principle of making money is an honest appraisal of where you're at. And so if you can be super honest about your strengths and your weaknesses and what you're good at and the pricing of your product and the pricing of your service, that's a great thing. What spiritual people tend to do is they skip over that part. They go from who they are in their wholeness, I'm this beautiful person in my wholeness, and they skip to what they want to be. So there's this whole step in the middle of this appraisal of where I'm at. And so the universe is constantly sending us messages as to whether we're doing it right or doing it wrong. And what does it look like when, when the universe is sending us these beautiful messages? Well, it, it, it will tell us, and this is where it gets a little bit hard, but it will tell us if we're doing something right because it will give us signs that we're on the right path little tiny signs that we're on the right path. And some of those signs are, uh, it will make us happy that we're making money or, or something good will happen, yeah? And, and not completely good because we're not there yet. We haven't built our house yet, right? So in this process of, of billing, of, of, let's see, gotta fill my belly so I gotta get paid. Yes, that's a good one, yeah. I have to turn this off because there's, I have to close this door one second because they're gonna be, uh, Sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah. So let's just talk about about that thing and, and, and how this spiritual bypass can actually work against us making money. If we do not say where we are in this moment, if we can't be honest about where we are in this very moment, we're never going to be able to get out of this way. So 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 you really have to be honest about about who am I in this moment? Like what are my skills? What am I good at? Is my product priced right? Is, am I good at it? Is this, am I delivering something of value to people? Now here's a crazy thing. If you're the only one who sees the value in your product, you're on the wrong page. And, and this happens to a lot of people where they say, these people don't know good food. Uh -huh. And they, they want to keep serving the food that people are telling them is not good. That is not how to do this. You have to listen to, to the universe and the signals and what people are saying. So when, if you're doing a real good job in your restaurant, people are telling other people, and the, remember the soup Nazi, he could even be a mean guy and the people would line up for the soup, right? So, so constantly, the universe is giving you clues as to whether you're on the right path. That, oh my God, I see people really love these belts that I'm making, or I see this. If you don't pay attention to that, and you go from these people, uh, they just don't understand good products. That is not how this thing works, right? The universe is constantly sending you signals as to whether your, your product is right. And the great thing about plant medicine is it helps you be honest about things. And by things, I mean my strengths, my weaknesses, uh, the things I'm really good at, the things that I need help with. I saw so many great creative people start businesses that were destined to fail from the beginning because they thought they could manage them. So you have this wonderful person, this, this really, really great creative person that starts a business and, and thought it should succeed because, because the idea was so good, 
and they thought they could manage it and they're bad managers. So if that person was just really honest with themselves and said, you know what, I need a partner who's, who's a, great, a great manager. I need a partner who's a great manager. So, so and, and that's where this, this, this thing comes in, about being honest about who we are. So, so if we can get to that one thing and we can first be honest about who we are, then everything else is easy because if we're honest with ourselves and we take the feedback that we're getting as, as, as somewhat of a gospel thing, that, and, and I don't mean it all has to roll at the beginning, I mean that we take the feedback and say, oh, uh-huh, I see some good things. My product's strong here, but weak here. My product's good, but the price is wrong. My, my, and, and as you get these things clicking together, the universe sends you messages back. And, and it, it, you know what it says? It says, oh my God, more people are buying these than I have the ability to, to produce them. <laughs> Boom. All of a sudden, we're in the sweet spot. We're in the zone. Uh huh. So, so, so that's exactly the right way to do this. Yeah, th that's exactly the right way to do this. The right way to do this is to, is to be honest about who we are, to create the, a product that we listen to the universe about and get the feedback about, and then to, to be able to, to, to use that and say, okay, if the universe is telling me that this part of my product is wrong, I want to tweak it and change it, and I want to bolster this part, that's it. And so, so the thing is, if, if, if you're being told no, if you're being told no, that nothing is working by the universe, then guess what? It's not working. Uh huh. So there's a difference between being told no and not and building your road. Sometimes in building your road, and what I mean, building, you're building your business, you're building your business, and it, it's hard going, but people like your product. Now that's a different thing. So if people are saying, hey, Jared, that's a great product. Yeah, that's a great product. Yeah, that's a great product. But you're having trouble just building it and it's taking time. Sometimes that's just building your road. That's, that's just building your road and it's okay to just build your road. Uh, sometimes we're giving up right before the road is completed. Yeah, and you can't do that. You just stay with it and stay with it and stay with it. When you're getting signs that you're on the right thing. If you're not getting signs that you're on the right thing, that's a whole different story. If people are using your product and saying, geez, your soup is salty or it's too much money or it's this or it's that, that's a whole different story. Okay, now I have to perfect my product and so I can match the market so that the market works with my product. Uh huh. They're very, very different things, but you've got to have your ears open. You've got to be aware and awake. This is the whole thing about plant medicine. Plant medicine is going to, it's going to show you how to be awake, that, that nobody intends, there are very few people who intend to do a lot of bad things. Huh? It's just that they're walking around to sleep and, and in, their, in, their, in, their, uh, in their sleep, they're knocking people over and hurting people and creating, but once light has shined on that, they really don't want to do that. So, so it's the same thing with this. You have to shine light on your career. You have to shine light on the product you're selling. You have to shine light on you. And if you do that, the, the way home gets very easy. It's a defined way home. Uh -huh. It's not something that you have to guess about because it'll start working. People will start saying, you know, uh, here's the greatest, the greatest way for you to see if you're doing a good job. I have more, I, I sold more product than I can produce. Boom. All of a sudden, all of a sudden I'm doing it right. I've sold more product than I can produce. That's the right scale. That's the right scale. So, so uh, that, that's exactly how to do it. So, so in other words, if you have a backlog of inventory of five years or you're a healer and, and nobody's coming to you or you're uh, what, whatever your business is, you're a consultant and nobody is coming to you, then, then, then we got to take a look at the product, okay? If you're in this particular circumstance, which is I'm in a one-to-one -one business, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a psychologist or I'm a, a life coach and I'm in a one-to-one -one business and I've reached a point where I can, I'm, I'm seeing five people a day and I'm killing myself and my, uh, and my book is full and I, I've reached the plateau of what I can make as far as money, then that, in that moment we go to something different. And then we take a look at, at where it's bound. Is it, is it product bound? Is it distribution bound? And then we try to design a product that uses your highest skill 
to reach a more amount of people that provides great value. So there's different parts of this thing. If you're, and most of us aren't stuck there. Most of us are not stuck with in this one-to-one -one thing. It's only a, a select group of people that get so good at what they do that they're, they've maxed out their one-to-one -one ratio. Most of us are stuck before that. That, that our product is not finely tuned enough that it's not creating a craze. Because what you want more than a good product is almost a movement. You want people to be like so boom with your thing that, that they just come out of the woodwork and keep, keep going to it. So this is, the, this is the thing that I just wanted to talk about today. So, so what can we do as an exercise to, to see if we're on the right path? We can just sit down with ourselves and, and, and it's so funny too because the more of an investment we have, the harder it is to see the truth. So if I've been trying to create this restaurant and, and I've been doing everything and it just won't work and it just won't work and I keep spending more money and it won't work, my nature is to say it's not how I'm doing it. It's the location, it's this, it's that, all these different things. But, but when we sit down with ourselves and we, re, we have enough control that we remove ourselves from the equation and we say, is this working? Do people like it? If they like it, why aren't they buying more? Is it the price? Is it the pro? And we go through this list of things, then we can get to the truth. And from that truth, all, all things are possible. Until we get to that truth, nothing is gonna change. It's the same thing in spirituality. It's the same thing in business. It's the same thing in love. It's the same thing in everything. Of sitting down, the act of sitting down and coming to this truth. This is the part that, that, that is the most important. So I wanted to leave you guys with that this week. We're super busy this week. We have uh, so many people uh, at the place this week. There's 90, 90 people and, and they're all getting miracles and having uh, this most beautiful time. So, so we want you guys to come. We hope that you come uh, soon. Uh, things are really booking up for, for the upcoming uh, months and, and, and this thing is turning into movement itself. So, so please come on board, please come and see our system, please. You know, the reason that thought leaders like Graham Hancock and Michael Beckwith and all the Panache Desai and all these people come here uh, instead of going other places is because we're doing something right. Uh, the universe is telling us that we're doing something right. So please don't get shut out. Come here, see us and get to your own truth and we'll talk about business things too. We will talk about business things when you're here. We're gonna expand more. As a matter of fact, next year, I'm gonna have a week on truthonomics, on, on, on really about honest business and being, being what, and we don't know that date yet, but we're gonna come, come up with it soon, and we're really going to have a great week about it. I love you guys. Please come, please dial this number if you have questions, 866-936-9446. Dial that number and, 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 and book your stay because things are going quick. So we love you guys and uh, hope to see you soon. Have a great week. May God bless you, keep you, and hold you. Have a great week. Have a beautiful week.